I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. It's time for some Wim Hof. <clears throat> if you don't know what I mean by that, Wim Hof is a uh, Dutch guy. Actually, I think he holds uh, 25 world records for different feats of, well, both endurance and mental toughness, you could say. He has, for example, climbed up Mount Everest in just shoes and shorts and is known for his method, which involves breathing, cold water exposure, uh, and meditation. <clears throat> so, what's going on here today on BBC Luke is a bit of that. That is, I'm going to start with some breathing, start with some breathing and go on to some <laughs> water exposure. Yeah. I have no idea how cold this water is, but it is not warm. Still used in sports, and now my phone's ringing, so here we go. Hello, hello. Wim Hof, very influential guy. A lot of people are talking about his method these days because uh, people in, uh, well, from all walks of life are... are benefiting from at least the breathing techniques and cold exposure uh, sports people that is well actually just everyone a lot of uh, uh, a lot of connections that he has with uh, with sports yoga running uh, even stuff like uh, MMA mixed martial arts people jumping on his his method so he's he's a guy to check out Wim Hof, Dutch guy. So yeah, today is all about the cold exposure. I can show you some of his breathing techniques right now. Hello, Giri. Also, yes, but there. Do you have a film? Say hello to Facebook or YouTube. <laughs> yes, bro. Say hello to YouTube, good night. Oh, 
Jag känner ingenting då. Nej, jag känner ingenting i dig då, men i alla fall. Toppen är ju höjd. Vad det heter han? Ja, det är väl för det är varmare luft. Åh, det är ju hård i dig. Toppen är ju höjd. Okej. Tycker att du är dumt att göra så här. Det är bra på mig. What I forgot to tell you was, so uh, before I moved to Norway, I had a really, well, painful experience uh, with the sea. Uh, Bentina took me, Bentina, my girlfriend, took me to uh, a, a local beach. This was in the middle of July, I do believe. So middle of summer, supposed to be warm, and uh, I'd never been I'd never swum out, swam outside uh, in cold water before. No experience, and it took me half an hour to get up to my knees in the water. And then she was like, okay, we gotta go. And then I had to just like run out into the water and dip myself in, but it was like super painful. And I didn't get the cold out of me, didn't get the frost out of me before an entire day after that uh, that that trip there so um that, that's what really got me on the on the thought of okay i ne i really need to do something about this this is a weakness <coughs> so from that day i kind of promised myself that i would work on my cold tolerance and that's when i came into contact with wim hof and all this uh all this cold stuff <clears throat> so you can see the development and I'll show a video of <clears throat> I'll show a video of uh, not exactly that trip because there's no video of that trip but I'll show you a video of a, a, a recent trip to the same beach where I am comfortable just running out running out into the water <laughs> And today was actually the first time that I. Today was the first time that I managed to uh, uh, <clears throat> have complete control of my breath. Uh, I had no panic. I held my breath as I went down into the water. So I've been, te been testing this in the shower. 
cold showers. <coughs> so uh, yeah, that's been this. That is a, a, a really nice new development on from this trip. So I'm re really glad about that. I'm going to go in and start editing. <laughs>